and it's good to see you guys come back for another uh, week of science experiments with me. So today we're going to do a science experiment with uh, baking soda and vinegar. And this one's really exciting because we also get to use an orange in it too. So first, I'm going to start out by cutting an orange on my cutting board here. You should have a parent help you with this part. And we're just going to cut the top off the orange. So now we have the exposed inside of the orange and the top. So in our experiment, the orange is going to act as a cup. And this is what's going to hold the baking soda and vinegar in. And also, it smells really good. You will also need a spoon. So I'm going to use a spoon to gently um, get the orange bits out of the orange. And that way, we're going to have a nice cup for our experiment. And the best part is you can still eat the parts of the orange. So you also have a tasty snack after your experiment. And during this time, you're going to want to make sure that you're separating all of the meat from the orange. And you're going to try not to break open the orange. So I have a little, um, it broke a little bit there, but that's okay. So you're going to try to keep the skin as intact as you can. All right. So now I have my emptied out orange and I'm going to save this to eat later. So I'm going to put in a dish. I have this baking dish and I can set it down right here and I'll put these off to the side. So now I'm going to take the same spoon that I used to scoop uh, the orange out and I'm going to get a spoonful of baking soda. And I'm just going to put the baking soda on the bottom of the orange peel. And now I'm going to measure out some vinegar. So I have white vinegar, but any vinegar is fine. And I'm going to measure some out in my measuring cup here. So I want like maybe one and a half cups of this to my spoonful of baking soda. And then just so you guys can see it better, I'm going to dye this vinegar red. Now I'm going to switch uh, the camera view so that you can see it top down and you can see the reaction happening even better. And you can see that there is baking soda inside of the orange and I do have my red dyed vinegar and so we're going to see what happens. I'm going to make sure to put this in the middle of my pan and I want to make sure to put this in a pan so that um, the, the reaction wouldn't go everywhere and make a big mess. So now let's see what happens. And what's fun about this is you can see all the little bubbles going in the orange peel. And the red dye makes it look kind of orange, which is super cool too. And this goes for a pretty long time. So it makes a pretty good reaction. And it's fun to see a bubble out of the orange peel like that. So you can use this with any uh, type of citrus peel. So you can use it with lemons. Um, limes, that too. I just had oranges. And you can pour as much and as little um, baking soda and vinegar in there as you want. So I could even add more baking soda to my orange. Mm 
have even more reactions going on. But to explain this experiment a little bit, this is a chemical reaction. So inside of the baking soda here, we have something called a base. And this base will react with the acid to neutralize it and turn it into some other chemical and water. So what we have left in here is going to be, we start off with sodium bicarbonate and we have vinegar, which is an acid. So it's acetic acid. So we have an acid and we have a base. And so when you put them together, they form into sodium acetate and then the acid and the base neutralize together to make water. So we have a chemical reaction going on. And this is some very important chemistry that's happening. And the orange peel also has a little bit of acid in there too. As I said, you could use a citrus peel and it has something called citric acid in there. But if you look, there's baking soda on the orange peel it's not fizzing up like it does when it comes in contact with the vinegar. And that's just because there's not enough to make a reaction. So the reactions happening, all those bubbles that were, that were bubbling up and we're creating from this reaction um, comes from having enough of either the acid or the base. So if you find that you want a little bit more of a reaction to happen, just add more acid or add more base and see what happens. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys next week.